As well, three adults and a 16-year-old have been arrested for stealing dogs from the Spokane Animal Control Shelter. Uh, KXLY 4's Eric Loney joins us now. Eric, the suspected burglars weren't trying to fetch their long-lost puppies from the pound. No, from what the suspects told Spokane Valley Police, they were stealing these dogs so they could be used in a dog fighting ring, and they did it not once, but twice. It started Saturday night when the suspects jumped an exterior fence with barbed wire on top, just like this one, and then broke into the shelter by climbing through one of those little doggy doors. And they were busted on Sunday night when they came back to steal more dogs. A passing motorist saw their car across the street and dialed 911. When police arrived, they discovered this pit bull sitting in the back seat. The dog had been seized from a dog fighting ring that was busted last year and the suspects told police they'd been commissioned to steal the dogs. While inside the shelter, they also smashed a window and also broke a lock. Animal Control recovered one of the two dogs stolen Saturday night, running free in Otis Orchards. The other dog is still missing. It's not the first time Scraps has been broken into. The director says they are reviewing their security procedures. Well, we're going to do a risk assessment naturally after any kind of a break-in. You want to do that. Uh, our, most of our shelter area is fully alarmed. It's hard to do motion detectors in a kennel. So we'll be looking at uh, possibly video surveillance, some things that will protect things a little bit more. Now, Scraps and Spokane Valley Police say they don't know much about the alleged dog fighting ring the dogs were headed to. The National Humane Society does offer a $5,000 reward for any information that leads to the breakup of any sort of animal fighting ring, and that reward is in effect right now. So if you know anything about this dog fighting ring, you are urged to call Spokane Valley Police or the Spokane County Animal Shelter. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4.